Hi everyone. Well, it's an unbelievably beautiful day in the garden. After all the clouds and rain we've had, the sunshine is out. Things are absolutely beautiful and the sunshine is just giving me such a lift this morning. Now, I know a lot of you have had a lot of rain, floods, even snow still. So hopefully the sun will come out in your garden soon and you'll get that bright lift of sunshine very soon. Well, this morning on my coffee walk, I want to take a look at my peppers. There's been a lot of holes being chewed in the leaves. So I want to take a look, see how they're doing and maybe you can give me some tips too. But these peppers have been in here maybe a couple of weeks and there are just holes all over the leaves. Look at that one. I'm not talking just little teeny tiny holes. I'm talking like big, huge holes look at that all over the place and we've had a lot of white flies out here um i actually talked to my friend gary over the rusted garden the other day and he suggested it might be slugs but i haven't seen one single slug or one single snail or even any grasshoppers and i actually even come out, came out here last night camera guy and i had a nice little romantic date in the garden to look for slugs and snails and I didn't see a single one of them. So I'm just a little bit mystified. But what I've done is I have sprayed everything down with neem oil. I have a mixture of water, neem oil, and peppermint oil in this little sprayer here. I added a couple of drops of this um, natural dish soap. And I grabbed my, uh, my neem oil, my peppermint oil that I got from Gary over the rest of the garden, put some in here, and I sprayed everything down. Yes, or actually on Monday, so I'm gonna give it a little spray again here because you really do want to spray neem oil every couple of days. It does disrupt the life cycle of the chewing and sucking insects. But then Gary suggested, since it was slugs, I may want, might, might want to lay down something to help with the slugs. So I happen to have some Sluggo Plus, which is an organic um, slug deterrent. So I did sprinkle some down around the bottom of my pepper plants in hopes that that would help. So if you guys have any ideas for me as to what might be causing these holes, um, I really would like to find out what it is so that I know exactly how to fight it. So I am going to be spraying down this entire garden bed again today with the neem peppermint oil mixture. Because when you're using neem oil, it's organic, but it's really important that you spray regularly. It's not like a one and done kind of thing because it does disrupt the life cycle of the chewing and sucking insects. And I really want to stay on top of it because prevention is the best cure. Now I do want to check out the salsa garden that we planted over the weekend. So I want to get that sprayed down and hopefully the pests will stay away from that. But as I'm walking by the scarlet runner beans here, there are just beans all over the place. And on our little evening walk last night, I noticed this sunflower. Can you guys see that there? It's just getting ready to bloom and it's such a beautiful sight in the garden. Just such a cheery sight to see that here in the morning. So hopefully you're getting some flowers in your garden. Comment below and let me know what you're planting for the pollinators, what flowers you have coming out. And also if you're getting any holes in your leaves because sometimes it can get, get discouraging when you have those little setbacks. And let me know too, do you have a garden friend that you call for advice? Usually my go-to is Gary, but let me know um, who your garden friend is and uh, what you guys like to chat about as far as garden goes. So let's check out the salsa garden. Well, I love how the salsa garden is looking in the morning light. I absolutely love this big, beautiful pop of purple in the garden. So far, so good on the peppers. No holes in the leaves. But I am gonna go ahead and spray it down with my neem oil spray here in hopes that we're preventing the insects. Now, when you're spraying neem oil, you wanna do it in the morning before the sunlight gets too bright and intense. Today's not supposed to be a real hot day, so we should be just fine. And this area does get shaded in the morning, so we should be okay. So I'm gonna spray the tops of the leaves, the bottoms of the leaves. I'm even gonna give this tomato plant a spray just to help prevent anything that might come around and wanna chew on things. Now I do have videos on how to prepare the neem peppermint oil concoction here. So you can go back and check those out and get your plants sprayed down before there's any big problems. Now the Sluggo Plus I've used for a couple of years with great success. I just picked this up on Amazon, so I'll link up to that in the video description. But I like to just sprinkle it around the base of the plants and that way when the slugs crawl over it or the snails or whatever chewing insects you have, maybe the earwigs too, then they eat that sluggo bait and bye bye You do want to make sure you get the sluggo Plus. I've tried the one that just says Sluggo on it before, 
and it really doesn't do the job. So make sure that Sluggo Plus keeps all the slugs and snails out of your garden. Well, I really do like my coffee walks because it does give me a chance to kind of monitor what's going on in the garden and stop any problems before they get out of hand. So I really encourage you, take your coffee walks every day, whether you do it in the morning or in the evening with your, a different beverage of choice and check out and see what's going on in your garden to stop the problems before they even start. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's coffee walk. Hope you enjoyed it. Please visit my seed shop if you need any seeds or Cali Kim containers. I hope you're having a great week and enjoying some sunshine out in your garden. Pure garden therapy, don't you think? Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Well, after I finished the coffee walk video, I was checking out the Scarlet Runner beans and I actually harvested a whole handful. This is the third harvest of Scarlet Runner beans from, from this plant in the past week. So I thought you guys would like to see that. Make sure you check your Scarlet Runner bean, beans daily because I am missing some. And there are some great big, huge, giant pods on here, which would be really, really good for saving the seeds. But they are, we're hiding all underneath these leaves. So I hope you guys are having good luck with your Scarlet Runner beans too. So let me know what harvest you're getting from your Scarlet Runner beans too. We'll see you later, bye.